Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is a big one. This is a big one. I'd like to hit 20, please. 20. Oh no, no! <laughs> okay! Good. That was close. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we've won, since we have Isaac, but it is one of the game's truly most horrifying truths. 2P8L, Dikwa, is our seed there. Um, it's one of the game's horrifying truths, and unfortunate truths, that um, if you're gonna random Isaac, it's gonna look for about four seconds like you're gonna have random the lost, and that's gonna make you crap your pants, and then you're gonna have to go sit in your crap for the next 45 minutes until your uh, run is over, and you can just act like it's not the most uncomfortable thing in the world. Why, you know, I'm not trying to make anybody feel gross. But why is it that when someone shits their pants, it smells worse than if they shit in the toilet? Like, does the water dampen the smell? I'm not a, a smell opticist, right? Okay, I, I would like to get the boss rush, like, if you'd have it in your heart to maybe just F off forever. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I figured that we would end up taking damage in the process there. I don't even really mind that much, just because I would prefer if you would just be deceased. Uh, I know that might have effed up our deal with the devil chances. Maybe a little short-sighted of me. That's good. I mean, not that we effed up our deal with the devil chances, maybe, but uh, we can probably afford to reroll this and still have a reroll to use later, which we might want to use on the D20. Uh, there is there's value in the D20, but in a situation like this, I will not be uh, taking advantage of that value. Rather, I will be on the lookout for. Uh, ooh, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for uh, an opportunity to get a battery, maybe, and reroll it. We'll see, though. I don't need to deal with the devil on this floor as long as we can just get enough. Uh, Half decent stuff to kind of roll with it. What's my idea of uh, my idea of an ideal situation to use D20 if we're going to be able to use it before we reroll? Absolutely. Uh, luck into finding a double secret or a second secret room with a bunch of red hearts. The odds of that happening without me using a bomb to do so are, quite frankly, basically nil. But I would love it if it did happen. I wonder if those guys can activate the TNT. That would be devastating. Oh, yes, okay. I love it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of HP right now. And if there's some enemies that can rush me down, this could cause a lot of problems. But Ibakak is one of the very few items in the game that is strong enough to win a run by itself. You don't need anything other than Ibakak to win. Of course, it's always helpful, uh, but you don't need anything else. That being said, it's not as good as some of the other items that can win the run all by themselves. For example, hey, it was full health. Uh, for ex Oh my god, we found it! I can't believe it! Okay, so this is going to slow us down here, but that's exactly my ideal room. Anyway, uh, we'll try to find regular secret rooms in the process maybe as well. Help me out a little bit here. We're going to just take a second to breathe because that was a, an extremely unlikely turn of events that actually turned out fantastically. I, I feel great about this run now. I was not expecting to, but I feel real dang good. Now, I may not want to reroll the D20. You know, it, uh, we're going to save our reroll for the possibility of a deal with the devil. Uh, and the sun card is good. Now, let's just try not to get held up too much. You know, we're at three minutes. That's not that long. It might take us maximum six minutes to finish this floor. Then we'll have Ipecac. And we'll be able to breeze through the rest of the game. So let's just enjoy our D20 for now. Take it down here, which is only going to take an extra minute at maximum. And basically everything's coming up Millhouse. That Ipecac pickup is huge. So we may have enough money to go to our shop. Make our shop worthwhile by rerolling all these. Red Chest teleported us to a deal with the devil. Where I will pick up Demon Baby, which is not that good, but is good enough. Uh, to, to justify getting the deal with the devil precedent on it. We'll also come back here now, and we may want to go back to our deal with the devil to use our D6 on it, but let's see what we've got in our shop here. We have a battery, and we have a spirit heart. I have to feel like um, I'm a little confused here. Let's buy the battery. I feel like the battery plus the D6 early is a great combo, because we don't have to worry about wasting as many rerolls. Would you agree? I would agree. So let's go back and get our... I would have found it probably, yeah. Let's go back and get our D6, which we will use to maybe reroll our deal with the devil item, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that, that took roughly a full minute, okay. 
And if we don't want to use it on anything, well, we will come back here and reroll the d20. And yeah, it'll slow us down, but it'll also give us a free item the same way we would intend on Boss Rush giving us a free item, so it's worth it. Maybe. Although you have a choice in the Boss Rush room. But I mean, I think I, you know, sometimes I think I overvalue Boss Rush room. Probably people out there right now going, yo, you think? Yeah, it's, it's probably true. There's probably some truth to it, I should say. All right, so two shots plus a little DOT is enough to finish that off. And Monstro's Law in full effect because Monstro's Law is immutable. I'm starting to think this can't be confirmation bias anymore. Very easy boss fights, as you would expect. We do get our deal with the devil. And we're going to reroll it. And oh, what was our other one out there? It was Pageant Boy. I can't. I can't justify it. All right. So we're going to take Pageant Boy, which will allow us to buy the Spirit Heart if we want to, which we may not want to. We, we still have a deal with the Angel Precedent. Now, there wasn't a battery for sale. I, I mean, there was a battery, but there wasn't a charge for sale, right? On the shop? There is. Okay. Let's take that back and reroll D20 with it, and then we'll get the hell out of this floor. We spent more than our fair... Well, actually, we probably spent like exactly our fair share of time here, but it has set us up very nicely. I'm very happy with the Demon Baby pickup, not only for the deal... Yeah, that's fine. Not only for the deal with the Devil Precedent, but also because it's a nice kind of counter or uh, a nice kind of addition to have when we're in a situation where we have, you know, Ipecac shots. We could be looking for black markets and stuff like that right now, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, it, it will shoot at enemies that are good against Ipecac. It'll shoot at flies, spiders, stuff like that that rushes us down. Might not be very great at killing them right away, but we can still get lucky with it a little bit. Now, Ipecac is one of those items, as as good as it is, as great as it is, I really like it. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta be smart with it, because the mistakes add up extremely quickly. Now, unlike Stompy, which we had last run, maybe two runs ago, we actually can take advantage of all the, the mushroom love here. And I don't think it'll slow us down enough to make me... Uh, Scared. That was great. Balls of Steel being here. Now we know that there's good uh, pills in our rotation and we'll actively seek them out in the future. I don't know if our luck stat helps the amount of uh, good pills we get. Health down sucks the big one, but we did get Balls of Steel. I can't be too mad about it. Uh, we we should probably be smart here and maybe just wait until Are You a Wizard cools down. Last thing I want to do is get myself killed. Even though I hate doing this because it wastes so much time. Any minute now, we should be back. Just seems like the right thing to do to hold up. I know that we can tell when our, you know, face goes back to the face that we had earned through our synergies. Pop up. Pop up. I forgot I can't fly. Didn't work out. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. There we go. That one's better. All right. Pop up. Pop up. Papa. Are you proud of me, Papa? Demon baby. Thank you very much. I didn't even want to shoot there. Things are getting a little risky. We do want that key, and we will get that key. There is a curse room down there. I will go, but I want to have my uh, reroll first. We might not be able to actually do that because we want to use our reroll against uh, a potential deal with the devil, but we'll see. We can use our sun card to just find the secret room. Balls of steel. Again, now I'll take two, or I'll take one health downgrade for a balls of steel in our rotation any day of the week. Fair trade, because we're only going to take the health downgrade once. We can take balls of steel 50 times. Book of Sin. Book of Sin is not very good, but we can use this room to very good effect uh, by just rerolling the crap out of it. But it'll just reroll into more books, which we're, we're kind of past the point where I think we can actually make um, like a fourth level Meat Boy, even under ideal circumstances. So, yeah, let's crack this open. I'm feeling dangerous here. It's good. With the battery, we don't have to worry about the fact that we have a reroll ready right now. We can store some. Probably shouldn't, you know, worry about getting to two right now. That's a little... Out of control. That was a terrible bit of damage on my part there that I, I can't feel good about, but that's okay. A little disappointed that we're only going to get one key out of this, which is going to keep me from going to either the shop or the item room. Probably whichever one we come across second. I wonder if this is our secret room right here. It seems likely. Alrighty then. I've been wrong before. And another battery. We might be able to actually cheese the game and, you know, scum that battery out. I'm not going to worry too much about it, though. Okay. I'm going to reroll it. It was a good reroll, but it was a good item to begin with. I don't love the idea of rerolling Midas Touched, but... 
when we reroll Midas Touched, and it gives us uh, the wafer. I feel great about that. That gives us such a good chance to win, and I'll, I'll call it, you know? NLNN, the Northern Lion News Network, is uh, now predicting that there is a 69% chance for Northern Lion to have victory tonight, and I'm very excited about that. I'm happy to be here, Jim, and I appreciate uh, the, the chances the game has given me. Could still blow it. Still a few ways to make that happen. I'm gonna hope that that's not the case. Oh, one of those is Balls of Steel, for sure. Health up, I'll take it. That's that's our health down pill. That's our health up pill. That's a full health pill. Are you a wizard? I'm probably gonna choose to ignore. Let's go back and get both of those batteries so we can get to a full charge. Dum, 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 dum. Northern Lion sucks at Isaac. Dum, 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 dum. I don't actually suck at Isaac. I mean, I'm part of the reason I'm so invested in the streak right now is I'm hoping that we can uh, maybe change that perception slightly. I, I'm not uh, under any, uh, you know. Artifice that I am artifice from the start of this run of the game James West Haven the West or remember the name I'm not under any artifice that I'm uh, the greatest Isaac player in the world But you know I, I'm on the internet all the time. I see people saying things about me and No, nor the lion. He's not very good at Isaac. He just gets super lucky. Well Eventually luck's got to fall away here. I'm not fishing for compliments or anything like that. This is just my way of being like, you know Going from a four streak to to a 20 streak some skills involved in that. I'm not claiming I'm gonna be winning Boiler anytime soon. I'm just saying. There's a little bit of little bit of talent that goes into that. And a lot of luck. So this is awesome. Uh, I think we're gonna take the ability to fly. Dark Bomb is amazing. but And it's still amazing. Fuck the haters, man. But the ability to fly for me in this current situation seems more useful. Because we can put ourselves in a more defensible position. That was one of those decisions where, you know, we win either way. You know, Dark Bomb would have been great as well. Especially if we got like Bloody Penny or something like that. Reroll Guppy's Tail. How could I not? We might as well go with Guppy's Tail. If we had a chance to become Guppy, I would love to. We'll head down to the next floor. Everything's looking good. HP's good. We can fly. The Spectral Tears are not going to be as useful, but we can fly, which immediately saves me half a Spirit Heart right here. Not that there was much point in me going into that room. We found an arcade. It's been forever since we gambled. Wow, that was fast. Um, tell you what, we will IV bag it up a little bit. I wanted to get enough money. I think uh, Piggy Bank helped us out there. I wanted to get enough money to make our shop worthwhile. Can we not blow up uh, Golden Poop? I mean, I really don't want to sit here for... Oh, it will work. It's just going to take a little little while there. You know what? We'll blow you up. We'll blow you up. We'll reroll that. Lemon Mishap's not very good, but we can live with it. We're still... We're going a little slower than I'd like. This is Caves 1? Caves 2. Oh, thank God. Right. That's actually what I meant is Caves 2, but... Um, Caves 2 means we have about three minutes per floor. We can use the Sun card on our... Uh, our last floor to make it a little faster. We should have time if we really want to do boss rush. Do we really want to do boss rush? I don't know. It might be worthwhile. Death card can save us a very slight amount of time right here. I'm assuming we're going to have to backtrack, so we might as well just make our way in the world today right now. Stay as far away as you can. Now, all we need is Pyromaniac. Everyone always talks about, you know, Ipecac Pyromaniac, Ipecac Pyromaniac. I've never had it, I think. If I did and I lost, that would be the saddest thing in the world. But, um, yeah, I mean, of course I would like it. If I could get it. Are, how are you not dead? Are you just getting hit by the poison and not getting hit by the explosion? That is ridiculous to me. Please stop breaking the laws of physics to fit your, you know, selfish whims. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the golden poop, and that's something that, it, you know, goes against every instinct of my body. Most of them, anyway. But, uh, you know, one of the big instincts of my body is stay away from, you know, other people's poop at all times, especially if it's yellow, because that means that it's not gold, they probably just pissed on it, which is even worse. Urine's sterile, but once it leaves the body, it's, uh, not sterile for long. Especially in one of the most bacteria-ridden environments, and, you know, that you could possibly imagine. Deal with the devil, please. Yes, we will probably go with the Halo there, and then our deal with the Devil. Uh, one Guppy item would be a huge thing for me, but you know what? Two Spirit Hearts, it's fine. That's pretty good as well. Still want to go to the item room in the shop. I think we're going to have time. We're only at 12.30, which means we have seven and a half minutes, which means we have three minutes and 45 seconds per floor. And again, we could use that Sun card to speed up the last floor, which means that we should be able to make that happen fairly easily. Ah, and this is going to be fast anyway. E. coli... Two of clubs, just pop that. Uh, we'll take Champion's Belt. Sharp Plug plus the D6 can get up to some stuff. 
We can't buy that? Oh, we're at full HP. I think we'd rather have sharp plug, honestly, than this. That's mom's eye. I don't want mom's eye. Oh, that's pretty solid. Uh, I don't want mom's eye with Ipecac. So what we're gonna do is come back here, reroll that again. That becomes Ball of Tar, which is pretty solid. And honestly, I think we can do something funky here. Let's take Sharp Plug. Check this out. Pop this. Takes half of... Oh, because of the wafer, it only took half of a heart? And then we can fill it up here. That seems... Oh, we can't do it again. Yeah, it only takes half a heart and gives us a scent out of it. That seems crazy good. All right, so we have six and a half minutes. It's three minutes, 25 seconds per floor from this point onwards. We could if we wanted to. Go, uh, you know, we should probably break one of these. We could if we wanted to. Mm, that's not what I want. Ah, oh, we'll take it, because we have counterfeit penny now with piggy bank, which is really good. If we wanted to, we could uh, go explore everything else, but we're not gonna. Instead, we've been to our item room, we've been to our shop, we got sharp plug, we got uh, juicy sack. I probably should not have come into this room if I'm trying to save time. One of the fastest ways to save time, or best ways to save time, because fastest ways to save time doesn't really make any sense, but um, one of the best ways to do it is to just ignore rooms like this that oftentimes provide you with basically no value. Um, unless there was a red chest or something in here, which, you know, then I'd eat my words a little bit, but that's okay. Because there's not. We did find our secret room, though, so I can't hate on it too much. It contains a battery, which I'll just pick up. Not the most efficient time to pick up a battery, but... You know, considering we also want to finish this run at some point in our natural lives might be a reasonable decision. Chest contains a red heart. I forgot that we could actually take good use of that. Health down. We could potentially make good use of that as well. The other thing is that I'm not going to be worried too much about min-maxing our battery now that we have sharp plug. And pretty much whenever we want, we can pay... I thought it was two hearts, but maybe it's like two red hearts or one spirit heart. Then you add in the wafer along with it and we actually get it for half price. But every time we want to reroll, we can just do that. By the way, I realize, of course, that we should, maybe if we wanted to, uh, blow up all these skulls and, and junk like that. Uh, it's something not particularly interested in. Our HP is already great. Our damage is already great. We already have the tarot card that we want. Um, there's not a whole lot keeping me here, to be honest with you. Except for the fact that we have to do this in order to beat the game. Five minutes, and we, we haven't found our shop on this floor, or our item room, or our boss room, but... I'm still, again, the sun card, great is full health. There are few things in the game more valuable than full health, but they do exist. I don't know why I was worried about shooting that golden poop. We have a staggering amount of money just from piggy bank now. And then I guess throw on counterfeit penny on top. That was a little slower. 1530, that's four and a half minutes, and that's another unfortunate dead end, but... I don't even care. That could be a spirit art. That could be a key. That could be, you know, a dollar. We're moving on. Got to go a little faster. And you can talk shit about boss rush all you want. That's that's your right. Yeah, I'll take it. And I'm not saying I'm right when it comes to boss rush. I do value it more highly than most people I know who play the game. That being said, it's hard to argue at the same time when... That boss rush has been maybe not an integral part, but a, a common part of what is now a, you know, looking like it's going to be a 20 long win streak. Might be totally wrong, but if it is, then I've won, you know, in spite of my desire to do boss rush instead of as a result, which is, is still it feels pretty nice. Really don't need that golden poop. Luckily, our shop does appear to be on the way to our boss room. Yeah, we'll take those. I would like to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. If we could trade away like all of our red hearts for, for something like Abaddon here, that would be great. Fanny pack seems really good as well, honestly, for us in our current situation. Every time we get hit, we get like huge benefits now. Tons of money, and then another consumable on top of it. Blood banks are not gonna stand a chance. Uh, we have two consumables that we can hold, so we might as well take this. And let's see what we got in here. Yeah, we'll just deal with infamy. All right, let's do this. War. Well, you know what? We probably... It's it's weird. It's a, it's a strategy play. How is one orbital for us? Let's see if we get a deal with the devil. If we don't get a deal with the devil, I probably will end up uh, not 
taking cube of meat or ball of bandages because we're not we don't have much upside for getting the the full familiars out of them oh we had options anyway I think I probably am gonna go with the cat of nine tails here for the the shot speed upgrade is nice the damage upgrade is even better all right how much time do we have depths two boss rush room right there boss trap room right at two and a half minutes I am gonna pop the Sun card probably gonna end up having to skip the item room and that might uh, that might annoy you and I can understand why it would but I hope you also understand my reasons uh, that I feel it's important to go to these rooms they've been fairly useful we got polyphemus on a recent one proptosis on a recent one don't need any of those uh, fuck the curse room for now not totally sure how much time we're gonna do okay good not totally sure how much time we're gonna need to kill mom I don't think it's gonna be too long maybe uh, you know 25 seconds our tears do a lot of damage we're gonna have two rerolls uh, maybe one for boss rush and one for okay one for boss rush one for devil I'm gonna go to our shop because we have the cash for it and we have the money blank card coin purse we'll just okay well let's see bad gas full health health up might as well take it explosive diarrhea let's get the hell out of here uh, let's just go fight the boss I think I'm ready and our time should work out just fine we might have been able to go to our item room but again we could get so many potential item rooms for just for going into boss rush mom's gonna go down fairly easily here as long as we can actually land a shot it's kind of like the opposite of Ludovico technique we just have to wait for a side to pop up and then we can hit it easily as opposed to with like Ludo you're like constantly guessing where the sides gonna pop up seems like it's going fine I got a little tickle in my throat after this fight before we do boss rush I'll probably pause for a second and uh, maybe even go get some water throat's been getting beat up today okay one second All right, I have returned. That was kind of ridiculous. Let's take a sip of this water. Ah, I didn't want to make a decision, you know, with a limited amount of time with my physical health compromised. We have 50 seconds. Let's go dark room. I think we can handle it. And then we're going to go deal with the devil. Deal with the devil's sacrificial dagger. Let's reroll it. Headless baby. Let's exit. Ah, I should have. Let's, let's just take it. We don't need the HP that badly. And then we'll... There's our boss rush room over there. We have Ipecac. Super Bandage, Libra, Prayer Card. I mean, Super Bandage is good. Luckfoot's pretty good. Libra's pretty good. Libra Ipecac might be amazing, but I'm just going to reroll. We got un Undefined, which a lot of people would love. It would teleport me out straight away, and then I would get Undefined for free, but I kind of like having a reroll. Uh, I think we, out of all of these, we would want like Blood of the Martyr for a damage upgrade. You might disagree with me there. This, the one I was... If I had to choose a second one, it would have been... Um, where are we at here? If I had to choose a like second place, it definitely would have been Undefined. Oh, good. It's Champion Carrying Queen. Uh, because with Undefined, we would have been able to get it for free, and we might have gotten an error room in it. In the process, we would have had a pretty good chance to become Guppy just by doing the Dark Room over and over. And in fact, if we had chosen the, the chest... Instead, I may well have gone. This is a different wave now. All right. If I'd chosen the chest, I may well have gone uh, with undefined. But I don't really relish the opportunity of doing the boss rush, or sorry, not boss rush, the dark room over and over and over. I would rather just do it once and get it over with. Now, is it worth doing boss rush for one damage upgrade? Probably not. But I talked about it so much that it's like, put your money where your mouth is, right? Plus, you know, practice on the boss rush is not bad. We're going to need to do it as the lost at some point. Might as well get ready for it. Plus, it gives me uh, kind of good calibration for the hard rooms that are to come. 
But it does also give me a chance for, you know, throwing my run, which would not feel very good for me. Where's my Loki at? There he is. All right. Every hit is like 10%. Could be better. Libra might have even been a better damage upgrade than this, or it might have been substantially worse. Admittedly, I'm not totally sure. I don't know how Libra works. Here's what I know about Libra. Take it. If you got soy milk, take the bejesus out of it. Those are the rules that I'm aware of. That was not a very good moment for me here. By the way, I totally forgot. We have the wafer, so I should not be as nervous about our whole HP situation as maybe I've been leading uh, people on to believe. We're in a pretty nice position HP-wise, actually. We basically, we found one of the few ways to cheat the HP cap. Full HP. And, uh... The ability to basically have it last twice as long. Eternal life. The only thing that sucks about Ipecac, well, apart from the ability to hurt yourself very easily, is the annoyance of having to, like, actually... Not with pinpoint accuracy, but with pretty good accuracy, hit the enemies that you're fighting. What's great about it is you can hit multiple enemies at the same time, you can shoot over rocks, it does damage over time, you know, the shots explode on contact, there's lots of great things about Ipecac. Just a couple of, you know, somewhat annoying things that make it a little bit tedious on occasion. So I'm trying out a new tactic I saw on the subreddit, which is that if you stand in the middle when the waves spawn, on most waves it just stands a good chance to get you hit, but on the, the bloat, um... Mask of Infamy wave. Supposedly the bloat's laser kills Mask of Infamy, like both phases of it, in one hit. If that's true, that would be awesome, and I would love to use that technique on my Lost Run, because, you know, that's one of the more annoying waves. Mind you, I mean, it's annoying because of the bloat, not because of Mask of Infamy, but anything that simplifies that wave at all is good in my book. What did I get hit by there? Was there a bomb that I didn't see because of Curse of Darkness? Well, that, that was just a laser. I can't really be mad about that. I think Fanny Pack paid out with a troll bomb, which is, that's just adding insult to injury at this point. And that is just terrible damage as well. You might be asking, Ryan, why aren't you moving out of the way when the enemies fire their, you know, high damage, incredibly telegraphed laser attacks? The answer to that question is, I don't know. I find myself a little disoriented, I guess, by Curse of Darkness here. Lots of red hearts that we can't use. This is, uh, Widow... Larry, uh, not Larry Jr., Pin. Similar, but different. Should kill. Next shot. That's what I meant to say. I was gonna say we're almost blowing it here. I was standing on the wrong part of the map. I'm actually surprised the husk lived through more than two Ipecac shots. Not trying to fire shots, but the husk and the hollow, for that matter, are two of the enemies with the least amount of HP in the game. We're getting fairly close to the end. I've taken more damage than I'd like, but that, I always say that on the boss rush rooms, and usually it ends up turning out just fine. Oh, sometimes they get weirdly, like, trapped up here. Like, really, really weirdly trapped. Oh, come on, come on. I, I botched it. I botched it too hard. And then I botched it again. It's alright. We still have a really good, like, anti-bloat build here. If I could actually hit the boss, that would probably do a little bit better. Is the heart still alive? I mean, you seem perturbed. Oh, there it is. It kind of blends in with the ground somewhat. Okay, there's the mask. And there we go. Should I don't think it matters, actually, if you kill Famine last, but we'll try to do it anyway, just because, you know, one spirit heart is two hits. It's pretty valuable. That was not a very shrewd move on my part there. Thank you, Demon Judgment. I appreciate it a great deal. Now remember, we do get one more item just for finishing... Just for finishing this. Which is good, because I've been doing a terrible job at it, and I'm starting to really doubt whether Blood of the Martyr was the right choice for us. Could have taken On Defined and just been free of this bullshit ages ago. This is a really nasty version of Death, by the way. Alright, no more sights, at least. If we could just get, like, one more... If we could get a guppy's head or something, I would be so happy. Oh! I didn't even see you there. Demon... Baby saved my life. 
save it a little bit of my life. Not my actual physical, like, survival, but help me keep my HP up. All right. This isn't really a moment of truth. We, we've known for a while that we were going to live here, but it's, it is nice to know that, you know, we're, we're almost at the end. The main enemy in the boss rush room in Rebirth is Carrying Queen's Poops. The second main enemy in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth uh, boss rush rooms is Tedium. I think we're going to end up taking Charm Tears here. I'm going to leave the money on the ground because I'm lazy. We're going to head down. We're going to remember that we picked up the negative. Let me take a drink of this water. We're going to remember that we picked up the negative, And picking up the negative means that we will be moving on to the dark room. Which means that after you beat Mom's Heart, you should go down to Shoal. Just keep that in mind. I'm talking to myself because I, I make that mistake all the time. I know I don't min-max with the Ipecac effectively, by the way. We should oh, we should only take half a Spirit Heart for going into this curse Room, which seems like a really good uh, play for us. Oh, we actually got Gimpy for half a Spirit Heart. Or actually zero Spirit Hearts because they fixed the glitch where you couldn't uh, bomb your way into Special Rooms, I guess. That was not a good bomb to put down. It was an accident, in case you were wondering. You're like, what kind of strategic reason does he have to put that bomb down there? None. I'm just an idiot. Uh, we could probably afford to take Liberty Cap instead of Counterfeit Penny. Also, it seems like Bad Gas is better for us than uh, the Magician. We can already hit fairly effectively. And sometimes I want to miss. <laughs> not just to remember what it feels like, but sometimes you want to miss just so the bullets don't explode in your face. All right, let Demon Baby take care of a little bit there. Let We the Best Sound take control. Nothing over here. That is not good damage to take, but it also doesn't hurt that badly, so I'm not too perturbed by it. Really starting to feel like Dark Bum might have been a little bit of a better pickup, but it's it's impossible to say, you know? Who knows how many times we're not getting hit and how many Spirit Hearts we're saving as a result of having, uh, that's good, as a result of having Spirit of the Night. It was the Spirit of the Night. I, it's the best I could do on short notice. It's also the best I could do on long notice, but that's less of an excuse, isn't it? The Sun, that's even better. So, normally I would be all, oh, and actually we, are, we should be all over fighting our boss right now, because we will get two charges straight away. Fudge off, Skolex. It's actually, it feels like Skolex and Ipecac is a great combination for me. Normally, Skolex is kind of annoying to make sure you're actually landing the shots in the appropriate region. No longer, though. The explosion will catch him. All I gotta do is not put myself too much in harm's way. It would be awesome if he stopped doing this bullshit attack and started doing the one... There we go. Where he actually comes out of the ground. I'd accept that one. I'd accept the one where he puts his tail out of the ground. That's good, too. Headless Baby doing some D.O.T. I appreciate it. That's damage over Tambourine, for those of you who don't follow my uh, diction. I think Juicy Sack's making this slightly harder than it needs to be. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. This is my moment to shine. Okay, we got Meat, which is totally worth a pickup. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil. Down to the next floor. Kind of wishing I'd chosen to go to the chest. That's okay. It happens. I don't think it's worth playing the Blood Bank here. Just a little bit too risky for not too much benefit. Oh. I don't regret blowing that up. Health down. It's no Sun card. But it could be useful. I think with the Wafer, we should be fine. But I am a little... Nervous is not the right word. A little anxious, though. Can't keep taking damage like this. But it's not going to take too much to put us over the edge, either. Now, this should be a pretty easy room if I can play my cards right here. One of the things that would really help me out a lot is if I stop missing so effing much. You the last one left? Yes. Okay, this is good. I would love to open some golden chests if they showed up. That was good, but scary. Almost took a little damage there. I really, like, I, I'm going to start to feel 
real bad if we start taking red hard damage. But luckily, that Balls of Steel pill, honestly, that might be enough to tip the balance more in my favor. I know there's red hearts around. We can play the Blood Bank. I don't need HP. I need, like, I need health. I know that sounds like the dumbest thing. It's like, if there's a Northern Lion quote book, that's going to be in there because it sounds ridiculous. But I don't need HP ups. I need just health improvements. <laughs> it sounds so dumb that I'm now questioning my own logic. I just, I would, I would rather have, like, just black hearts than pick up an HP upgrade, though. Alright, this should be a relatively easy room. It's kind of unfortunate that we're not killing, like, every enemy in one hit. Normally, that would sound kind of greedy, but with Ipecac, it's, I wouldn't say it's par for the course, but it's not that out, that far out of the question, usually. I do think that our chances of hitting 20 here are pretty good, though. And that's, uh, that's way more than I expected when I started recording what would end up becoming the streak. Thought maybe we'd get to, like, six. To be fair, my best streak prior was four, so six would have been a 50% improvement. Instead, we're at, like, a 500% improvement. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a smart decision. Capricorn will give us a nice little damage bonus, bonus and a uh, nice little damage bonus in uh, all respects. Our stats will improve. Also got some HP. Doesn't really matter whether we have a reroll or not. Uh, is Capricorn like the ultimate item? No. Certainly a lot better than Goathead would have been though, because that would have effectively done nothing for us. Oh come on. What is like our Capricorn has made our range high enough in conjunction with the other range upgrades that we've gotten. It's actually kind of difficult to land a shot now. It's okay, we got this Sun card, full health. If we have to use it on the Dark Room, there's no shame in that. If we have to use it on the Lamb Fight, there's no shame in that. If we have to use it on the Lamb Fight, we've probably won. So let's, this is the opposite of shame. Thank you, Infamy, for saving my life there. A couple of weirdly desync shots there, but that's okay. We're going down, 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 down. In my head, I was thinking Cathedral. I was thinking Cathedral. That would have been bad. We're going down. Oh, we can fly. Yeah. I'm not so worried about this room anymore. Now we should start um, being a little bit more diligent about some of the gamey stuff, min maxi type stuff that I don't normally do. For example, shooting all of these so we can get the spirit hearts. We could just bomb rooms and leave if we want on this floor, but, you know, getting the consumables is fairly meaningful a lot of the time. It's just kind of hard to land these shots. We gotta walk backwards. Quite a good distance to actually get them to land in range. Death card. Worth having. Alright. My kind of room right there. You're not dead or even perturbed in the slightest, huh? We'll go back for that sun card because it is extremely important. We're probably never going to end up needing these uh, surplus keys that we have. But I'm glad we have them nonetheless. Who knows? Uh, we, oh, didn't we pick up Guppy's tail? Yeah, maybe we will need them on the on the dark room. Then I would love to have the opportunity to use keys on the dark room. I'm not gonna sweat the fact that we're using keys. I'm just mostly gonna be jazzed about the fact that we have the chance to actually pick up some items. Doesn't happen that often. We can't take Dead Cat. It's too late. As much as I would love to become Guppy, we gotta do it through other means. Dead Cat's way too risky for us now. All right. <laughs> well, we do have Sharp Plug. It only took half a spirit heart, man. I think we gotta just jam on this stuff. Thank you. Was that Gimpy or just Fanny Pack? I think we gotta jam on this until we become Guppy. Yes! <laughs> it worked! Uh, so now we've got incredibly high damage flies, assuming we get flies with this. Might as well hurt ourselves again. I mean, we could use Guppy's paw. Let's let's use it until we get to, um, yeah, just the HP cap, and then we'll... Reroll it again, and we pick up the mark. That was incredibly good. Sharp plug, thank you. You've done your country a great service today. Um, now, I know that there's some wacky bullshit sometimes about whether or not you can generate flies with special tier effects. It, it looks like we're generating flies. I'm assuming those flies are going to do an F ton of damage, and I'm going to call this, you know? I think we got an another win under our belt here. I don't feel bad about going to the dark room anymore. I can't believe I didn't get hit at all there. I deserve to get hit about seven times. Uh, might want to go back for that key, given the circumstances here. We're, we're generating flies from the damage that Headless Baby's Creep is doing. 
which is great. <laughs> Sign me up for that. Oh, there's still a nub over here. I thought that was like a shadow on the ground. Um, yeah, that is awesome. Especially if they also get generated from Ipecac shots, but enemies are going to be on top of that creep like nonstop. I think it's the creep that's generating it anyway. I can't get over it. That, that might be one of the best... Uh, mm, interesting, but... That might be one of the best curse rooms I've ever had. I pretty much had my choice... Ooh. Uh, my choice of deal with the devil item. And to be honest with you, I might just be able to play Sharp Plug. Yeah, we'll open it, of course. Oh, it's so good! <laughs> I might just be able to play Sharp Plug to the point where, like, I just endlessly get Spirit Hearts back for it. Par yeah, we'll take Parasite Dog. It's, like, super risky with what we got going on here. Why would we be able to play it endlessly? Please, it works, right? Parasite causes the shots to split. Cricket's body works, I think. Ah, whatever. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, uh, Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack keeps paying out with uh, good trinkets or good uh, consumables. Some of them are spirit hearts. Yeah, it, it works. Just not not very often. Um, Hanged Man, not particularly useful for us. Sun card, still awesome. Should be a pretty easy win now. Closest, I can imagine, to guaranteed. On an Ipecac run. Gives us an eternal heart. Why not take it? Alright, Satan. Might as well sneak a bomb in there. Why not? Even though we shoot bombs. Didn't work out for us, but that's totally okay. We have Wafer, incredibly high damage Ipecac, and we're Guppy. Now it all seems worth it. Not to mention we have Infamy, Fanny Pack. You know, when we get hit, we're not in that bad of a position. I wonder how many shots it'll take to kill these... Uh, I want to get some decent creep going down there so we can generate more flies. Alright, gotta actually land these shots. Looks like, like two more, maybe. Oh, that did it right there. Alright. Down to the dark room, and it doesn't really matter what we get down here. We should have a very easy chance to, to steamroll the run. Probably save our sun, uh, our sun card as much as I want to use it right away. That was not a good dark room. Actually, the sun wouldn't help us at all from a mapping perspective. Look, like three flies just killed death. That's the craziest shit. I know flies do 2x tear damage, but still. Two times. I don't want to sound like some kind of weird, you know, synergy mobile, mogul or something like that. But, um, yeah, these, these flies are going to be out of control. In fact, I'm feeling a little bit like our, our individual tears are not doing that much damage. Our flies are holding it down. No. I'm not going to let you ruin my run. I'm not going to let you ruin my run either, asshole. Scorpio. Virgo. Ah, one of these days I'll get that right. That's all right. You know, I don't know a lot about the horoscope items. What I do know is when they show up, pick them up. Mostly. Why would I want Scorpio if I already had Ipecac? You know, maybe like extra poison damage. Maybe you get like a bonus. Bogo poison. Bogo Botulism. That's the best I can do on short notice there. Double Dark one doesn't matter in the least. Ah, uh, it's uh, very uplifting. Very nice to, to know that our interests are fairly well protected. We've got an extremely good chance of getting to uh, an unprecedented winning streak. For me, not for everybody. I don't like Leech very much, but I'll take it anyway. Why don't you like Leech, Northern Lion? I have this conversation with Kate all the time. She loves... She doesn't call me Northern Lion. She... You know, calls me Alfonso, which is the the name that she thinks is my real name, because our marriage is built on a husk of lies. Uh, but uh, she loves Leech, and I like I don't think Leech is that good. Why isn't Leech that good? Just takes forever. The life steal can save you. It's one of those items. If you need it, you need it. But if you don't need it, you don't need it. You know. Mom's knife. Do we need it? No. Would you like it? Yeah. Why not, dog? Leech. Do you need it? Nah. Do you, do you want it? I mean, could we maybe like re-roll into something else? We could have. Probably should have. But I was thinking there'd be more red chests coming, so... You know? My bad. I will say it does work ni fairly nicely, at least in conjunction with um, Juicy Sack. Which we don't have on this... No, we do have it on this run. I couldn't see a familiar, but Juicy Sack doesn't... Oh, we don't even have Juicy Sack. We have a uh, Sticky Feet. My bad. Similar. 
same kind of cadence on them, you know? Well, this is, um, you know what? I'm going to reroll it because I don't like it that much because we're not going to use bombs. Speed and range, not that useful. HP, not that useful. Money, not that useful. Uh, speedball, not that useful. Virgo's protecting us too much. Anarchist cookbook, not that useful. Infestation. Rarely do I do this, but I think infestation is totally worthwhile. You might be saying, oh, you were just getting scared of the damage you were taking. No, I was getting excited by the damage I was taking, but... You know, the, the fact that when we take damage now, we'll generate more flies as well. It's going to help us do more DPS. I think it's actually like a pretty good strategic choice. Sharp Plug Wafer is a solid combination. As well, if you have a good space bar item. If you don't have a good space bar item, then, you know, you're just throwing your health away for no reason. If it, it'll even work, which I doubt it will. This has got to be like a shortcut. If not to the end of the level, somewhere closer to the boss, for Christ's sake. Not a good bit of damage there, but hey, that means we got flies to carry into the next room. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. There we go. Get some spirit hearts back. This is over. I'm very happy. Didn't even check out our second secret room. That was not a smart decision on my part. Yeah, we'll just... Wow, that got extinguished extremely quickly. I can't believe that there was a moment in which I was concerned about this run. Uh, it all worked out in the end. Mostly thanks to that last curse room. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, that is our 20th win. I'm happy. I hope you're happy. I'll see you next time. If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad.